What is happening, y'all? Welcome. I'm back. So, Beefy Boy is officially beefy. We got the heavily armored helm on. We got the heavyweight energy defense chest. I was going to go for the ballistic one, but my energy defense will be lacking a bit. Uh, on the arms, we got these beefy boys. Of course, the leg tank. And I was looking through the various FCSs that we, we have available, and I think I'm going to stick with what I have, mainly because of the lock speed. The lock speed on a lot of them aren't as good, and since I'm looking to just rapidly lock onto stuff and riddle it with Gatling shots, I think this might actually be good to stick with. Uh, so we're in a pretty good spot. Our AC is about as beefy as it's going to get, at least with the parts I have available. But Beefy Boy is certainly beefy, and we're ready to go on to the next mission, Up in Flames. Let's confirm the mission. The former MLF's surviving irregular next, Ashut Minya, has taken over GA's Nasser oil refinery. It's up to you to evict him. Preserving the refinery isn't a priority. Stopping Minya is your only concern. One on one, he's reportedly less of a threat than Amajik, but backup forces have been confirmed in the Nasser area. Watch your back. Those are your orders. Tank versus tank. Let's go, baby. I'm pulling out the grenade launcher right at the start and blowing this dude into oblivion. Your target is Ashut Minya. You can ignore any additional forces there. Stay safe. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you got lucky there, friend. Yeah, I don't know about that. Can't really see his ass that well. It's kind of on my ass. Ashut Minya down. Enemy next has ceased all activity. The mission was a success. Good work. Please head back. Take my A rank. Sleep well, soldier. Honestly, like going back and playing this, it's just making me appreciate what's coming so much more. Cause, dude, oh my god, AC six was so good. Let's confirm the mission. Destroy all of the new large-scale weaponry being built at GA Europe's Hada Arsenal. The Hada facility has announced it is leaving the GA group. This operation is a matter of internal house cleaning. The ex-GAE guards should still be in the facility, but you have clearance to eliminate them if they endanger the mission. Keep in mind that Akvavit has supported the Hada arsenal for some time. It's possible they've offered some backup now as well. Those are your orders. We aren't sure of what it looks like in there. Watch your step.
That's why we got a grenade launcher. I think I'm just gonna double Gatling, kill the trash, and then I'll swap over a grenade and laser. Eventually, I'm gonna go double grenade just to be like, boom, take out any big target. We haven't picked up any Aqua V forces so far. So much the better. Let's finish up this mission. I gotta figure out my, uh, they mentioned Primal Armor in one of the previous missions. I don't know if it's an activated item or what with this. The Hata team was known as the heretical zealots of GA. More than any prophets or politics, they may have just been in love with their research. They were driven by research, regardless of how dangerous it was. That's just the impression I get. Maybe because that's how my father was. The vicarious warfare the companies had been waging by using terrorist groups hit a turning point with the purge of GAE's Haida arsenal. Okvavit, which had partnered with Haida, considered the purge to be a direct assault against their company, they lashed out at GA, calling it rightful retribution. It was the first open conflict between companies since the Pox's inception. That action echoed instantly through the other companies, their accord already in collapse, and the world was plunged into war without ideology or reason. Amid this chaos, news arose that the power of Anatolia's mercenary rivaled that of an original. She dreaded that recognition. It was the sentiment I couldn't understand. New parts. 60 units of FRS memory. Let me, let me actually make sure I'm using this stuff right. FRS memory tuning. Adapted to what your AC needs. One set of tuning is going to be the same. Energy output should be at 50. Load 2 gets your CU overweight. Maneuverability, firing, aim, precision, lock speed. Okay, so a lot of people just I manually do it, but anyway. Do we have anything new in this category? And rocket. Do have the cash for it.
We know this is stabilizer. Like, I don't think I need more energy output. Or capacity. Okay, so this is the FRS memory. I don't know, I think I have to... I have to spend a certain amount here. Alright, let's go... Let's pump my output all the way up. Wait, no, 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 hang on. I want to put this stuff in the tank. I don't need it here. B is back. Final, uh, oh yeah, A to finalize tuning. Primal armor. Box speed is already good. Precision, I want that all the way up. Stability all the way up. Watch, it's like I somehow jump in, can't even pilot it now. It's just like, der, bur, boom. We've also confirmed that Barat, Ekbal's top squad of normals, is present. Furthermore, there's a GA VIP aboard the large stealth jet preparing for takeoff on runway number two. Protecting that craft is your top priority. We've gotten word that you're not cleared to use primal armor until that craft is airborne, to avoid the risk of Kojima contamination. Keep that in mind. Those are your orders. Actually, it looks like the default was pretty good. I'm re reading up on this right now while the mission's loading. It's like energy should be, energy output is good. Quick boost is good. Um, our maneuverability is, is important. Hold up, the fuck is this? These look like two, hold up, hold up. It looks like I have two different grenade launchers on. Let me see something here. No, I do! Oh, no! This is the one that's more powerful, but this one has way more rounds. Shit. Sell you. Yes, the Agodo is what I want. Want to see how it tuned me? I'm gonna auto do that. I'm gonna manual here. Okay, so yeah, let me let me do this now that I'm reading up on stuff. Just throwing shit around. Okay, so nothing in capacity. Energy output should be all the way up at max. My load is fine, so I don't need anything there. And then quick boost, main booster, horizontal thrust, quick thrust. Uh, so let's see, energy cap is the most important. Stability never felt like I had too little. If you find yourself good, you might want to use it. ECM, quick boost is more powerful. Our maneuverability is good, and 
Main quick boost to close distance fast. Turning for close combat, also vital to heavy AC defense. Okay, so let's go arm maneuverability to make sure they stay locked on the target. That's FCS. Let's just do that. Now we're Let's ready to go. Up. So lots of energy generation so that this isn't struggling at all. Oh dear, yeah, my energy is just cruising. You'll also be unable to engage your primal armor until the jet's in the air. Second enemy wave now beginning its descent. Move to intercept. AP is down 50%. Let's hit him the escort target. Hold on. Oh shit. Damage reported from the stealth jet. Protecting that is your top priority. Where do these little fuckers even come from? Damage to stealth jet worsening. It's in danger. Don't let enemies. Well, I'm trying to kill them! Was it though? That was. What <laughs> was it though? God, I took so much. I was ten percent. Thing almost blew up. Gonna be like B rank. Yeah, it was. Let's confirm the mission. The, the big question here is, can I take those choppers out of the air before they drop those cores?
Well, I think because of my tuning, I don't have any of that now. Okay, I think I might just stick with the default tuning. I think I, I need to go back and, um, I, I, I don't know. I'm just going to close this tab and I'm going to let the game figure out what my, uh, what my stuff should be. And we're going to do that. We're going to, we're going to go here. We're going to go assembly and we're just going to auto it. We're going to auto tune everything. Approaching us here at the Zextex Global Airport. Approaching enemy airship squadron confirmed. Prioritize that stealth jet's safety until it's off the ground. Oh, no, I still don't have that. What the hell? Primal armor until the jet's in the air. Yeah, so I can take them out before they even land, if I'm smart about it. Second enemy wave closing in. They're at the storage facility. Intercept immediately. There we go. That's how you do it right there. That's what I'm talking about. Absolute obliteration. Give me that S rank. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. That's more like it. I had a feeling that I could knock him out of the air if I got close enough. We can fit one more in on this episode. Let's confirm the mission. You're to raid the interior squadron occupying Griffin, the independent city. Destroy their entire force and take back the city. Their core force appears to be a group of normals, but an array of additional firepower has also been confirmed. Of particular concern is Interior's latest creation, the Aerial Fortress Fermi, which combines Melee's large model laser cannons with a primal armor mechanism. Those are your orders. Sounds like I shred some normals and then grenade this thing out of the sky. Your 
objective is the Fermi Aerial Fortress. Optical lock-on capabilities will be limited in the dark. Plan accordingly. Kojima tank unit identified. You should be able to use it to secure some elimination. Destroy it. You've entered the Fermi's firing range. Watch out for the large model laser cannon. Can I take this thing out of the sky is the next question. You're nearing the edge of the combat area. The enemy is armed to the teeth. Keep your distance. Secure light sources around the ferry and attack from afar. I found you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Moves so fast. Oh, bro, I can barely see it. Oh, you little shit. If I can rush that thing at the start, it's getting blown out of the air. I'm talking about securing light sources, but I'm not sure how to secure them exactly. Let's so just fire flares at this thing. Your objective is the Fermi Aerial Fortress. Optical lock-on capabilities will be limited in the dark. Plan of well, that's not the right button. over there. Where are you at, friend? There you are. The enemy is armed to the teeth. Keep your distance. Secure light sources around the ferry and attack from afar. The Fermi aerial fortress has gone silent. The mission was a success. Good work. Please head back. Dumb bitch. Hiding in the dark trying to hit me. Like, I'm not gonna pump you full of grenade rounds. I'll take it. Glad you're alright. Let's go home. Alright. Well, on that note, we're gonna wrap things up here. I gotta take the kitty up to the vent. So, more will be coming your way, though, rest assured. So, stay tuned, and I'll catch y'all in a bit as we continue.